What is up my YouTube peeps? Today I'm going to show you how to add a voice changer to your live streams. And it's really simple for PC and for Mac, so let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Now I've had all kinds of requests, people asking me how to add a voice changer to their live streams, and a lot of my audience are Mac users. But I don't just want to appeal to those Mac viewers out there, I want to appeal to everyone, including folks that use a PC. So I went out and found a great solution for voice changers on both PC and Mac. The software is completely free, has lots and lots of different voice options, and there's even hotkeys set up so that you can just change your voice with the touch of a key. It's freaking awesome. So let's dig in, install this software, and I'll show you how to set it up. It's gonna be fun. The software I chose is called Voxel Voice Changer, and you just need to go to their website. You can do a search for Voxel Voice Changer, or there's a link in the description making it really easy to find. Once you get here, you just need to download the version of the software that you need. In my case, I'm putting this on my Mac, but if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you see there is also a Windows version. Once you download it, it comes in a zip file. You just unzip that file. For Mac users, you're gonna double click on the DMG. For Windows users, you're going to click on the EXE. And then for Mac, you're just going to drag this into the application folder. For Windows, you'll just follow along with the install pattern and click finish and you're done. Once you drag it into the applications folder, we're gonna go into applications and we're gonna double click it to start and we're gonna click open and it says the Voxel will now load the audio driver. We're going to click OK on this and we're gonna put in our credentials to allow it to do so. And then it's going to give you a system preferences thing. This is pretty common on the new Mac software. So over in security and preferences, click on the general tab, click the lock in the lower left hand corner, put your credentials in, then click allow next to where it says system software from developer NCH software has been blocked from loading. You want to allow this to load. Once you do that, you can OK and done on these things and we are fine. Now it's going to ask you to find your microphone and you can just click OK. We're going to add a different microphone later. Got a little bit of pandemic hair going on here. Not much you can do about it. Still no place to get a haircut unless I want to shave it myself, which in my experience has never turned out well. So it is what it is. I'm going to go into preferences, drop down the built-in microphone and select the microphone device that I want. As far as default playback device, that's just fine for here. You can turn on listen to voice as you speak. And this way you're going to actually be able to hear what is going on with your audio. We'll just go into preview here and now I can hear and now, now I can in my hear headphones. in my headphones exactly what's going on. Exactly what's we're going set on. on auditorium and we're so set on we auditorium we can, so we can go and we can here. check different effects here. The announcer effect. The announcer effect. The announcer effect. That's kind of interesting. Now you're going to notice that you're going to get delay when you do this. There is some inherent latency. It is what it is. There is no way around that. Let's go into Super Villain. Super Villain. Super oh, Villain. I am a total oh, badass I am now. A total bad ass you know now. it. You know it. See, so you have to be a little careful too. It will click if you peek. If I talk too loud, if I talk too loud, we're gonna get clipping. So you just have to adjust your levels. Here's the cave monster. Here's the cave monster. Oh, yeah, the cave monster. What about demon? Demon sounds pretty cool. I like this one. And some of these you'll notice have more latency than others. Let's see, what's in the sci-fi? I think they have a protocol droid in here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I like that one. I can be Darth Vader. I can be Darth Vader. And he's a little wispy and breathy. And if you have a microphone that you can adjust the audio levels on, that's probably pretty good for this. Let's try a robot voice. Oh man. I like the robot voice. Be 
because you know it's all monotone and it sounds really fantastic. I can adjust the vocal tone of my voice, but the robot voice always sounds the same. Very nice. So how do we add this into OBS? The first thing I wanna do is create a setting that's not using the vocal changer here in Voxel because you're not going to always wanna be using the voice changer in OBS. So we're gonna go up here to new and we're going to create one called clean and we're gonna click okay. And we don't have any sound effects selected and that's good, that's what we want. We'll just click that and now we're in clean. Now what we can do is add some hotkeys for the voices that we're gonna to wanna to use on our live stream. So the first one I'm gonna select is clean. And that hotkey, you can use whatever one you want. Let's use one. So hotkey one. And then I'm gonna go into here and select which one I want. I like the demon one. I think that one was pretty cool. And we're gonna select the hotkey two. And we're gonna go here and let's select, where's the robot? We gotta have the robot. That one was awesome. Robot and we're gonna select that with hotkey three and one more let's do one we haven't tried yet just so we could test it out in obs and see how fun it is squeaky that sounds cool let's try squeaky just for fun i'm going to do this as hotkey four and then i can click ok so now we've got this all set up as hotkeys so if i hit one we're clean i hit two we're demon i hit three robot four squeaky and so now all I have to do is open up OBS. Let's remove this and I'll add the audio input device because just in case you've never seen how to add an audio input capture device, we're gonna go to plus, audio input capture, and let's call this voice changer. And we'll click okay. And if you go to the drop down here, guess what? You got your voxel voice changer right here. Click OK, and there you go. Now you've got your Voxel voice changer. Okay, so a couple of things we need to take care of over in Voxel before we go live so that we can properly test this in OBS. And the first thing is, now that we've added Voxel into OBS, if you're still hearing your voice as if it's coming from Voxel, that's a problem because when you actually go out to the stream, you're gonna be getting double audio. And that means that your preview is probably checked in Voxel. So you just wanna make sure that your preview is not checked. If it's great, that's why you're hearing the Voxel. And that's not actually your OBS audio, that's the Voxel audio. And you don't wanna be able to hear that. So you just uncheck preview so it's not gray and you won't be hearing it again. So now I can't hear any voxel in my headphones. So let's go back into OBS and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here to the advanced audio properties and we're gonna just set it up to output and monitor. And that means that I can hear the voxel stuff in my headphone just to test to make sure it works. I'm not going to wanna do this for my live streams because there's a delay in the audio and it'll be a total mess. So for my live stream, I'd have it as monitor off. If you're not familiar with the advanced audio properties, monitor off means you won't hear anything with your headphones, but it's going out over the live stream. Monitor only mute output means you can hear it in your headphones, but it's not going out over the live stream. And then monitor and output means you're gonna hear it in your headphones and it's also going out over the live stream. So this is the setting that you wanna put in here to just test it to make sure that it's working properly. The other thing we need to do is if you're noticing that you're getting a lot of clicking when you're talking using the voice changer, let's go back over here into Voxel. Anytime that this peaks into the red, you're going to probably hear clicking. So you need to adjust this level right here of your microphone so that it isn't peaking. If you have an adjustment on your microphone, you can also adjust that down. Either way, test this before you go live so that you're sure you're not gonna get all this clicking garbage sound. Speak at your normal regular talking voice level to make sure that you're not getting a lot of peaking or clipping. And as long as you do that, this app works really well. Now, if I wanna go ahead and change my vocal settings, all I have to do is click a number. 
so we know that one is clean. And two is the demon voice, and you can hear it right there. And three is the robot voice. And four is the squeaky voice. And you can see, you can change your voices as, as, as easy as clicking a button and just uh, go back to one. And you get your clean voice again. So there you go. That's how to add your voice changer. There's an easy link in the description to the Voxel app if you want to check it out yourself. And if you want to learn the coolest trick I've ever learned for OBS Studio, check this video out right here. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.